All right, in today's video, we are gonna do a walkthrough of my drone spray trailer. So I'll kind of show you the ins and outs of my trailer and uh, how I use this to spray thousands of acres. Uh, it's a great trailer, uh, really efficient, and I'll kind of walk through everything, things I like, things I don't like. So here we go. All right, so right here we have the DJI generators. Uh, this is the DJI D1200 IE generator. They are super fast charging generators. Honestly, a lot of the times we can run the T40s off of just two batteries. Uh, we always have three and we're always cycling them, but uh, yeah, really we can do it off of two because they're ready to go and they're fully charged as long as you have good battery management. Um, I've used different generators in the past uh, and I've bl blown them up. They just weren't enough power and uh, not made to charge these batteries. These are made to get the job done and uh, I've been really impressed with them so far. I'm just gonna pick you up here and we'll kind of walk to the back of the trailer and uh, I'll show you uh, the rest of the setup. So as you can see here, I've got four totes and two of them are plumbed together each. So I'll kind of show you right here what that looks like. So the plumbing up top, that's just a, an inlet. <clears throat> so I pull from the bottom of each tote and then recirculate to the top. So this is our, the recirculation. We've got a valve here. If I just crack this valve, I crack it about quarter to halfway and still have enough pressure uh, in the one inch to, to fill the drone quickly as well. So really good option here. This is just a Power Pro 6.5 uh, gas pump, two inch gas pump. Uh, hasn't really given me many problems. Every once in a while, it'll just run out of gas throughout the day. And then as I'm going, I'll just, I've got two gas cans on the truck and I'll, I'll fill up these generators at some point throughout the day, or these pumps at some point throughout the day, as well as the generators. And uh, we make it through. So um, yeah, continue on here and kind of just get a full picture of the trailer. Right here, same exact setup, uh, one inch. I did have a, uh, I guess, less um, sturdy one inch hose. It was just like the clear one inch hose. And uh, I melted it twice on this exhaust pipe. So upgraded to the Bumblebee this year. Uh, it's 40 feet of hose, plenty of hose to reach. This is just a 16 foot deck. So if ever we need to land behind the trailer, we can land behind the trailer and have plenty of hose to still reach the drone and fill up for whatever reason. Um, if there's not a, a great level surface to land on, um, then that, that's an option that we've done in, in the past as well. So operate two drones off this, this trailer. It's good to have enough mix for a full day. So I can mix uh, for up to 500 acres on this trailer. We've outperformed that before, but uh, you know it's a good thing if you empty this out and have to refill at some point in the day. So I'll keep going here, but uh, I'll show you this right here, the mini bike. The, the Coleman mini bike. This thing is great. Um, I always have it strapped on right here. If we ever need it, it's easy to just take that off. But we use that if we need to go chase down a drone. Honestly, we've used, used it a lot and it's really helpful to have uh, just on the trailer. So some sort of bike like this, this is nice because they're about, I don't know, eight, 900 bucks versus like a $4,000 electric bike. So we'll go up top here and I will show you how this contraption works. All right, so we're up here on the top. This is the pilot's nest. Uh, hopefully you can see a good view there. Let me, there we go. You can probably see a little bit better there. So this is the pilot's nest. Uh, this is where we will stand and operate. Uh, actually, we usually have some lawn chairs up here, uh, which work great. So you can get a, a little rest between each flight, but this is what it looks like up here. So you've got pilot's nest, plenty of room for two guys. And this here, this is the uh, janky walkway 
Uh, it's not actually janky, it's welded together really well. But it's on garage rollers, so this rolls back and forth here. Um, but it's vice gripped down below, vice gripped directly to the, the frame here. And it hasn't had any problems. Uh, we walk right across this, no problem, plenty sturdy. Uh, not, maybe not the safest thing, but I'll upgrade eventually. And uh, this is what the top flight deck looks like. So this is 20 feet of flight deck. Um, so this is about, I don't know, four feet box. Uh, it's just got two clips right here. I've already got it opened up so I can show you guys. This here is where I store my batteries. This box is really nice. It's just an outdoor box I got off Amazon. And uh, this just keeps things in the shade, keeps them cool. Uh, so that way when we're going, these fans can just stay running. This stays in the shade. Don't have to worry about the batteries really overheating. Um, but yeah, this it also makes for a good little chair. I've sat here plenty of times and uh, flown the drone. So I'll just sit right here and land the drone out on the deck. And then we'll just walk back and forth right here. Like if I'm doing some solo missions. So yeah, that is what it looks like. Just kind of a full view. And I will go down here and kind of show you how this apparatus works in the bed of my truck. All right. So I wanted to get kind of a good visual here, but uh, I guess close-up details as well. This here just sits in the bed of the truck. Uh, the only thing is this does stay. It took about five guys to get this in here. Would have been nice if I had a forklift or something like that. But um, yeah, so this stays in the back of the truck all season. So like right now, before fungicide gets going, I'm just driving around with this in the back of my truck, which is uh, not ideal, but it works for now. Um, really this trailer setup, what it what it is to me is, it was a low cost investment to get started uh, with the spray drone business. And it, it worked out great. Uh, the trailer itself was about $3,000 and I sold a couple things off of it. There was a three inch pump as well as a thousand gallon tank. So sold those things off, made a little bit of money. That way I can, uh, I can plumb the whole thing and, and start building these uh, steel structures to add to the trailer. And uh, all in all, I think I spent about $10,000 on this trailer um, to get everything plumbed. That's everything that we have on it, ex you know, excluding the generators and batteries and things. But that, that's what I spent to get a solid spray trailer that I could spray thousands of acres with um, in one season. I'm going to use it again this year and eventually I'm going to upgrade it. I'll throw some videos up of the trailer I'm probably going to upgrade to. It's a Lane trailer. Um, they're a great company out of Boone. It's a local company so I can support local and, and work with those guys. So also great uh, trailers that they have, you'll see in those videos. Uh, a little bit safer, I think. Uh, safety was more so considered than the, uh, the job that I did here. So um, yeah, other than that, uh, let me get you some close-ups of this. So this just sits, it sits right on the bed of my truck there, right on the edge here. And I've got some uh, liner down here so it's just a kind of like a foam liner underneath and yeah so cam locked in that it's secure it's definitely not going anywhere it's good to have the bed of the truck open though so I can fit both drones back here with our lawn chairs and cooler <laughs> that we'll have with us throughout the day to um, you know keep our drinks cold and keep going so that's what that is um, this trailer uh, great great first trailer um, I, you know uh, eventually I'm gonna upgrade and move on, but this works for now. Um, yeah, let me know what you guys think and uh, keep putting out videos like this, so thanks.